Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where teachers go the extra distance and reach beyond their classroom walls to help students achieve success year-round. Meeting your teacher before the start of the school year is an exciting time for elementary students. What's even more exciting is when Riverside Elementary's entire staff visits students' neighborhoods to personally welcome them to a new school year. In late August, Riverside initiated Bears on the Bus, a multi-neighborhood tour of Newport News, allowing the dedicated educators to go where the students and families are. At five different stops across the city, the energetic Riverside staff delivered free books and popsicles. While the locations were strategically selected to meet and greet with Riverside students, the Bears staff was more than happy to meet any kid and offer free treats no matter what school they attended. One of the stops was at the playground at Deer Park, creating a fun environment for teachers and students to hang out with a good book and at the Greater Hampton Roads Boys and Girls Club, every kid was invited to pick out their own free book and enjoy a cool treat. Bears on the Bus was a natural extension of Riverside's focus on kindness and inclusion, with teachers and staff going above and beyond to make every student feel welcome before the start of a new school year. <laughs> The Burley Men of Woodside High School raised cancer awareness by growing out their facial whiskers for a month. During No Shave November, 24 male educators let their crumb catchers grow wild. Since many cancer patients lose their hair, the purpose of No Shave November is to embrace follicle growth and donate money that would normally be used to tame the mane. With female educators also chipping in, Woodside raised over $700 in memory of former history teacher David Wallace. Along with other fundraisers this year, the David Wallace Memorial Scholarship Fund will allow four students to achieve their dreams of becoming social studies or history teachers. Beardlength has no factor in receiving this generous scholarship in the spring. <laughs> Teachers put the pedal to the metal to bring the love of reading to students' neighborhoods. The only thing better than a good book and a cool popsicle on a warm summer day is having them delivered right to you at home. That's where Books on Bikes Newport News comes in, ensuring students are supplied with fresh reading material all year long. The summer kicked off on the last day of the 2017-18 school year at the Denby Community Center. The free event included fun games, free books, food for the whole family, and raffle drawings for brand new bikes. This was the fourth summer for Books on Bikes Newport News, who have now doubled the number of schools they serve by adding Discovery STEM Academy and McIntosh Elementary to the existing lineup of Epps and Greenwood. Every week, at least one of these schools would deliver brand new free books and popsicles to a number of neighborhoods in their school zones. Over 40 teacher volunteers along with principals, student athletes, and special guest riders from other schools, we're happy to donate their time, ensuring more students stay engaged with reading through the summer months. Through the generosity of local businesses, individual donations, and school PTAs, Books on Bikes was able to hand out hundreds of free books every week, impacting the lives of hundreds of students and their families. Winter break is coming up and schools and offices will be closed from Thursday, December 20th through Tuesday, January 1st. Previously, December 19th was a half day. However, the effects of Hurricane Florence necessitated that it be changed to a regular day. Students and staff will report back to school on Wednesday, January 2nd. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.